I belong to the Genome User Forums and there's been a lot of requests lately from people who are either new machine owners or have swapped from one make machine to another saying, help, how do I transfer designs to my machine? I don't have software. Well, the good news is you don't need software. It can be achieved without the use of software, but you would benefit if you did own a small editing program or an icon creator. Now, I own Genomi software. I also own Embird Generations, Sophie Sews, So What Pro. On my other machine, I've got the original Origins. I did have Husqvarna System 5, which is a very old program, which had the old parallel port dongle and is now hopelessly out of date and wouldn't run on a Windows 7 program in a blue fit. And I mainly use Embird and Genomi software. you also see that I have a nearly empty desktop and it's a habit I got into when computers only had finite space. We still have finite space, but compared to what we had, it feels like infinite space. And you didn't have a cluttered desktop because if you did, it made your boot up incredibly slow and created problems for you if you'd got a screen covered in icons. But I like to be able to access all my programs quickly. On my screen, I've got program shortcuts and it's in my program shortcuts. And I did exactly the same in Windows XP are all my programs. And I can just nip into there and select a program I want to use. But let's get back to what I was talking about and I nearly sidetracked. There is a little program called Sew Icons and it's made by Sans Computing and it is excellent. Now, I don't own it, but I'm going to show you what it can do. And on my Windows 7 machine, I have a Windows Explorer icon on my bottom taskbar. I've also got some others which I've stuck there. I've got a font viewer for when I want to see what fonts I've got quickly without having to open a desktop publisher. And if I just click on that, it shows me every font that I've got on my computer. And I can go through and say, I want one particular one. I've also got my keyboard. If I'm going to go and do my online banking or insurances or PayPal, this is what I use. Key loggers can't log your on-screen keyboard. So they don't know what you're tapping. It's a nice little security gizmo and it works. Then I've got Snippet best little tool ever invented. I can take a snip of my screen. Why would I want a snip of my screen? Oh, let's get a time check. There we go. And I can tell that file, save as, and it will let me choose a GIF, a JPEG, or a ping, or a single HTML, and so on. But I don't really want any of those. So I'm going to tell that cancel. I just want to show you what a handy little tool it is. Cancel, close that, nah, cancel it. Then I've got my Windows Explorer. And I love this being here because on XP, I used to have to go in through Start, C Drive, Windows, and then come down through and find Windows Explorer. It was a right pain in the neck. This one is here and it shows me the main areas. Now, if you buy designs and you own Windows 7, likelihood is they will save to this folder, Downloads. Now, I've been very remiss because normally I clear mine out every time I download something and I put it into the folders that I want. These are all applications, so I should really put these in my Applications folder, which I keep on a separate drive because I've got my C drive, my E drive, my F, G, H, I, oh no, H. And we'll look at these in a minute. And then I've got an external. So normally it will default to here. Now, if you've got an icon creator, what you see is a picture of your design. And it makes it so much easier to look for it. Now, if I go into H in here, I keep most of my designs. I say most because I've got them all in hundreds of places. Oh, let's look in this one. Right, now these are all my Zunt designs. Beautiful work, Zunt's embroidery work. And not quite big enough for me to see, so I come up to this toolbar. 
the pale blue ribbon one. And I go to change view and I ask for extra large icons. Uh, it takes a few seconds. I get a crystal clear image of what design is. I don't need software to view it. OK, I want extra large. There it is. There are my Jeff designs. I want to stitch one of these out. I get a little pop-up window which tells me it's 43.6 millimeters by 85.8 millimeters. In other words, 1.72 by 3.38 inches. It's got 47,003 um, 47, stitches, five colors, five thread changes, hoop size, well, it gives me a hoop size that my machine doesn't have, 110 by 110. My machine has 126 by 110, because I've got the version 3 of the 10,000. But that tells me it's safe to save it to my AF hoop, which is the smaller hoop. Now, have we got a bigger one? I think these are all for the AF hoop. It certainly looks that way. Now, if you don't have a little application that creates icons, you can't view them like this. All you will get is, is it details? Where you see these little teeny pictures, you wouldn't see those. You'd only get a generic Windows file. No information, no nothing. So let's go back to H and we'll take a look at Audrey's Roses. Everything I need to know, I can find in here. Because I have an icon creator, I don't have to have the software. I hover over a design, or I hover just under the design rather, and it tells me that this particular design that I've highlighted uses the 140 by 200 millimeter hoop, or 5.51 by 7.87 inch hoop. It's got 22,524 stitches, 4 colours, 11 thread changes. So I would know that's safe to use in my machine. All without the aid of software. Except the icon maker. So what exactly is an icon maker? Well you just saw one and that was one that gave me pictures. And now I'm going to show you one which is totally separate from a software package. And it's made by SNS Computing and it's called So icons. It's freestanding. It doesn't need embroidery software to operate. I don't own shares in SNS computing. I don't even use this program. The only reason I have icons is because some of my software programs that I own also create icons. It's a software for viewing the contents of embroidery files, quilting files, and certain common image files as icons from within Windows Explorer. With so icons, the stitch pattern contained in embroidery files and some cross-stitch files will appear as icons as you scroll through your Windows folder. Information about number of stitches, colors, pattern size, either in millimeter or inches, will appear as your cursor moves over the icons. You may download the user manual for a more detailed explanation of the features. It's a standalone application that does not require any other embroidery software to be installed on your computer. It coexists with all known embroidery editors and can be used to display embroidery icons in the file open dialogues of those applications as well as in Windows Explorer. There is an AutoCAD and Quilt Files CAD viewer. Windows 8 can use this little program. Windows 7 can use this little program. Windows XP can use it. It comes in a 32-bit flavor or a 64-bit flavor. If you own a Windows 7 or Vista 64-bit, download the demo and give it a whirl and see what a difference it makes. You can see your embroidery files. Now these are the formats. Art, Art 42, Art 50, Art 60, C2S, I don't know what that is. I don't know what CLF, CND, CSD, DEM, DSB, I know what DST is. DZZ, I know what EMB is. 
EMD, EXP, GNC, Hus, Jan, Jeff, Jeff Plus. Jan is the Genome native format. Jeff and Jeff Plus are the two stitch formats that our machines use. I don't know what all these others are. Quilting files, these are what they look at. BMP for image files, CDR, CMX, DRAW, DXF, GIF, JPEG, PNG, SVG, EMF and WMF. So it's a very, very handy little program and it costs $25 for the download. You download the program. It will probably come in a zip format. You save that in a safe place on your computer. You can also burn it to a CD, copy it to a USB. In fact, it's always a good idea to keep all your original program files that you download from the internet. Those are your backups. And also save a copy of the key that you receive to unlock the program. You put that in a folder along with the zip for the program. So if anything untoward should happen, like your computer hard drive does fail, and we all know they do, as do USBs, compact flash cards, photo cards, external hard drives. I've lost three external hard drives and all their contents. Um, CDs can get scratched, chipped, to stop reading for no apparent reading reason. DVDs are notorious because they still haven't come up with a de facto format for all manufacturers. So you may be lucky and you have a computer which will read a DVD that was burned in my computer. Or I might be able to read a DVD that was burned in your computer. But it's not very likely. But CDs can be read on any computer. So I tend to try and back up on CDs. OK, now this creates icons. Icons create easy viewing. Easy viewing does away with the need for software. If all you want to do is transfer designs, just open this one again, Audrey's Roses, and there it is. All the information I need is there. I don't need anything else. It's perfect. It's even telling me what program, if I want to edit, that I need to open it. This one, because it's a Jeff program, I want to do any editing. The program to open it is Easy Edit. These are all the extra embellishments. That's what an icon maker does. And that's what sew icons will do for you. And it doesn't need an additional embroidery editing program. Now, Embed will do the same for you. But you have to buy Embed Basic, which is about $150. Then you have to pay another $20 for the iconizer. So that's $170 as against $25. OK. I still haven't explained how you get your designs to your machine. It's going to come up in the next video.